seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. I hope everybody's doing well. This video is dedicated to my good buddy, Saul Thompson, and he has been requesting that I use Rory Red King McDonald. No, it's not Rory the Water Boy. No, it's not Rory Aries McDonald. It is the Red King, and we are going to use him out of respect for Saul and everybody else that has requested Rory McDonald and I'll get into the nicknames when I get into the fights. Hang on, Big Daddy Cool. Wow, Matt Hughes. <laughs> Man, so we're using Rory McDonald for the first time here. And like I said, this is dedicated to Saul Thompson, a great subscriber of mine. He's been asking for it. Like a kid on Christmas Day asking for a Super Nintendo, baby. So here we go. I love Rory McDonald. Much respect to Rory for not being happy with the UFC's contract. And then he went to Bellator, man, for a great contract. Hopefully his nose heals. That's the one thing, man. His nose hasn't been fixed 100% since his brawls with Robbie Lawler. Oh, get out of here, brother. Come on, Hughes. We're going to exploit Hughes' game. You gotta be careful though. Oh, I the one thing I don't like though is that kick, that hesitation kick. I don't know if it's called the question mark kick, but I'm not a fan of it. But we could use it to our, towards our advantage because it's a hesitation. They're gonna lift the block and then you could sneak it in. Oh, tickle that <laughs> that belly. Hughes' block is blowing up a little bit. I'm trying to be careful with my stamina. Don't want to get taken down by Hughes. But again, Rory's so awesome. He does that. At, he does have the Imanari roll. Oh, oh. He has the Imanari roll. So you could always use that if you're losing late in a fight. Oh, come on, Maddie. <laughs> How's the farm? How's the farm? Nice. See that? See that kick? If it was just a regular high kick, I would have snuck it in. But that kind of... I'm going to call it the question mark kick. Uh-oh. No, that question mark kick can be negated if you strike Rory. No way, baby. No way. And people respect the ground game of Rory McDonald. Oh, no. No way. And this guy has good... Man, he has good submissions. Wow, for a second there, I thought I was going to be in trouble. But I was at UFC 129 when um, McDonald ragdolled Nate Diaz, man. It was crazy. Those slams, you could hear it in your chest. The fans were going nuts. Oh, and Hughes is hurt. Hughes is hurt. Oh, <laughs> wake up. I'm trying to get Mount. You see that? Yes, it's like a wrestling video game, man. To pin him like that. You gotta push punch when you're close to his head, when your feet are close to his head, and you'll get mount. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's what I was trying to do. I was circling that body to try to get mount, and then I was throwing punch right where my feet were at his head, and you will get mount nine times out of ten. So let's get in on another fight. What a first start, Saul. I hope you're happy. And I love using Rory already. He is awesome. Look at that mount. Devastating mount. Nighty night, Matt Hughes, baby. <laughs> the country boys going to bed under the stars like a cowboy. Hang on. Oh no. It's George St. Pierre. Man, did you guys notice GSP? In one of his um, latest commercials, he didn't have the greatest physique. I'm hoping he is going to fix that when he fights. I think they're going to fight in October, man, against Michael Bisbing. But I wanted to touch on you know how um, Rory McDonald has like. He had like three nicknames. He went from Waterboy to Aries to the Red King. I love the Waterboy, man. If you guys know how he got that, I think maybe at TriStar Gym he was an up-and-comer and he would always fetch everybody water, man. Who knows? But I love that. Rory the Waterboy McDonald. But I don't know why he, um, he dropped it. I guess it wasn't really a good marketable kind of nickname. But here we go. This is going to be a battle when two training partners fight. This will never happen in real life. So let's see. 
And the good thing about Rory is his stats match up against George's, man. So you're able to hang in every avenue. I'm confident with that. And this guy's a good parrying guy, man. He's a good parrying guy. But he's doing the don't do that Superman punch. In my opinion, it's one of the worst strikes in the game. It drains half your stamina. And you won't KO your guy, your opponent, if he has full stamina. Oh! And we're in a barn burner action. We're in a barn burner. Come on, Judge! Oh. This guy's good, man. This guy's good. Oh, baby. No way. Those dynamic strikes are no good, man. Oh, split in the legs. And I got mount again. No way. No way. It's over. <laughs> the mount. And he quit. Oh, my gosh. One more fight. Hang on. Okay, people. Final fight, man. Final fight. That's one of my favorite arcade games. I wanted to ask you guys. I wanted to post some beat-em-up games from back in the day. I really wanted to post one of my favorite arcade games and show you guys. And it's Double Dragon for the arcade. Let me know if you want to see some some different videos and some kind of like some way back playback. Some beat-em-up games and some... Fighting, fighting games from back in the day that you wouldn't mind seeing me play just to kind of switch it up to make it like a laid-back kind of video and I could tell you guys about my childhood and things like that let me know in the comment section below but here we go this is gonna be a great battle Thompson and these guys did train together at some point and they did fight Thompson won by decision and I don't think Rory let his hands go man he didn't Push, put the pressure on him. But Thompson's got great skills, man. But we got to be patient. Make a miss. And his stamina is not the greatest. Oh, I see what he's doing. And again, Rory's punches are underrated, man. He's trying to parry. Yeah, baby. He's missing his parries. I got to keep being unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. But he is a parrying monster, man. These parrying monsters keep your stamina up, people. I'm telling you. You don't want to get flatlined. <sighs> what an exchange. This guy's good, man. This guy's good. Again, he's parrying with half stamina. Not recommended. Whoa. See, that's where we got to be careful. He's looking for that. He's definitely looking for that. Oh! Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! It's only fitting that the last video... This video is for Saul Thompson, and we're facing Thompson. But again, living and dying by the parries, man. Nice jab. Vicious combinations. And I just can't get over, I can't overcommit. Because again, even though I rock this guy, he means business with those parries. He's mastered the parry and then the overhand or a nasty strike. Oh! Throwing him around. Is it over? Get up. I'm going to let him up, man. Oh, and he's belly tickling. Oh, whoa, whoa. I got to watch. Once you see your block blowing up, switch stands, man. Trust me. Wow. Oh, pressure. Oh, and that knee to the body, baby. That knee to the body really cuts the distance on your opponent, man. Can you tell I'm pumped? If you're wondering what the drink is of the day, it's a dark roast double-double from good old Canadian Tim Hortons, baby. Dark roast double-double. That's the only time where I don't actually respect the bean. I have two cream, two sugars, man. But Tim Hortons, if you guys are from, you know, other a country other than Canada or the U.S., Tim Hortons is crazy, man. 
Everybody lines up every day before they go to work and they have to get their coffee. The lineups are nuts. The drive throughs are unbelievable. And the, the coffee is affordable and it's really good. Some people think that secretly Tim Hortons dips cr like sprinkles a little crack in the coffee because there's a country style donut coffee shop next to uh, Tim Hortons by my work. And, uh, you know, everybody lines up to the Tim Hortons and country style never has a lineup. So who knows what, but man, if you ever want to make money, open up your own Tim Hortons in Canada and you will make a ton of money. But anyhow, back to the fight. So we kind of took care of this guy on the feet. And, but I still respect him for his parrying abilities. So I don't want to be reckless. Okay, he's doing good there. Oh boy. Oh man. Gotta switch stands again. Even though I'm better as a southpaw. For all you guys that don't know, I'm better as a southpaw. But at this point, you need to respect that your block is hurt on one side. Oh, baby. See that? Oh, man. Great combo. Quick hands. Try. See, I blocked that too late. Look at him go, man. The tables have turned. The tide has been turned. But I just need to be patient. That first round could have been a 10-8 round. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. So he's got a... Wow. He is picking up on my patterns, man. This is what makes this game scary. He's picking up on my patterns and scoring. Snuck that one in. See, I wasn't... I didn't want to hit him to the legs there. And these guys, this guy's confident. Yeah, I didn't show him that back body kick, baby. And that's what got him. Oh, big right. Hard Trying to utilize my boxing. Oh, no way. Oh, what? I saw that from a mile away. Always just kind of sway back. Nice body punches, man. This guy's good. He's durable. Oh, the belly tickle action. I want to make a t-shirt with, with Roy Nelson. And, ha and have it say, belly tickling time. Let me know if you would buy that t-shirt, man. And then on the back, we'll have the Ricky J, Ricky J Sports logo. Come on, that would be awesome. I want to make one just for me first. If you guys are interested, maybe one day, can make some t-shirts for our channel. It'll say, it'll have Rory, uh, no, Roy Nelson. Oh, and then it'll say, belly tickling time on the front. Ricky, Ricky J Sports on the back, baby. So again, this guy, man, a better round, oh, a better round for him. But I still think I got the 10-9 nod. So I could probably like Caleb Starnes it in the third round. <laughs> if you're wondering about Caleb Starnes, remember, I don't know for all you old school guys out there, when Caleb Starnes, he fought um, Nate Quarry. And Nate Corey was doing well on the feet, and Caleb was just running around the octagon. It was so bad that the UFC cut him. The UFC cut him because it was a terrible performance. So I don't want to do that, but if I have to, I made Caleb Starnes the last two minutes. But I think for sure the first round was a 10-9. Could be a 10-8 with those two knockdowns. And then here, a 10-9, I think. I think it's a 10-9. So let's keep on putting the pedal to the metal but we got to pick our spots man we got to pick our spots so I'm pumped man I'm pumped I really like Rory McDonald I like him he's good everywhere man that's the thing that that I like about him he's good everywhere he's not too short like I like using Dillashaw but he's kind of short man for his division with McDonald you kind of negate that distance with his height you know what I mean like you're not at a disadvantage height wise and reach wise too much oh he's going for the takedown and then here like I said I'm not afraid man I'm not afraid of the ground game when I got Rory and he trumps 
Uh, yeah, I can't believe I just used that line. But he trumps Thompson. He does when it comes to the ground game. And look at that, got up so easily. Again, don't like that kick. That's the only thing I don't like about him in his build here, people. Keep it simple. I tried using Michael Johnson, like, offline. And I thought I would like him, but he doesn't have a high kick. Like, a front high kick. And that's a big part of my game. Oh, baby. Oh! <laughs> How fitting would that be that that question mark kick is going to win me the fight? Oh, boy. Can't get too reckless. And he's doing a good job pairing my punches, but not really my kicks. Let's go. Whoa. It's like blood sport, man. Remember in Bloodsport, they would kick at the same time? Hard straight punch. Oh, big right nice hand. straight. Big combination. Oh, solid jab. Or nice jab. I didn't even see oh. it. Was it a jab or a straight, man? This is just a blur, man. It's just a blur. And I wonder if this guy's going to roll the dice knowing that he probably can't win a decision. He just doesn't have the gas tank to do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was to the head. That would have been crazy. But I gotta keep on pressuring him. Gotta keep on pressuring him. Wow. Oh, I gotta be careful. Not a lot of time left. Much respect, man. This looks like it's going to a decision. Man, I just can't touch him. He's doing a good job keeping his distance. Let's go. I'm going to try to pressure him here. See that? Oh. Man. Oh, down he goes. Let's go. Is it over? Oh my goodness, he was taking a nap right there. Unbelievable stuff. Definitely we got the W on that one. Oh my gosh. He was good though, my opponent was good at keeping his distance and surviving my onslaught of attacks, man. Craziness. Oh, and it froze. It froze. But hang on, let's see. Give me a second, hang on. So there you have it, people. Wow, look at this guy, man. He uh, was decent. He was decent. He did have a losing record, but he did a good job with Thompson, man. He did a really good job with Thompson. But anyhow, people, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Saul, for the request. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Let me know who you want me to use, man. Some big daddy heavyweights or some tiny little straw weights. All right, people, you guys are the best, man. Enjoy the fights this week. I'll most likely pop out another video before then. But if I don't enjoy the fights, get in on my UFC Fantasy League 2 as well. But most likely, I'll post out another video. But I'll keep you guys posted, all right? <laughs> that was a lot of posted right there. Anyhow, people, this is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. You guys are the best, and you are awesome.